Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got another new game today. It was another Christmas present. This time it was from my neighbor and my friend. Um, and this game is called Thomas Was Alone, and he said he thought it'd be cool to play on my channel. So here we are. Let's get right in and start a new game. <clears throat> oh. The program was a failure. People forget this. It was a massive flop. The coders started adding name strings to the AIs as a joke. Thomas AT23612 wasn't special, it was just an AI, I love it, I was too fast. Thomas was alone. Well, a weird first thought to have. Okay. Oh, so I could do this on joystick. I might switch to PlayStation. If this gets too hard. <clears throat> I didn't know there was a narrator. That's cool. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, uh -huh. portals. Portals, hey. They led somewhere. Who's this recording? He'd yet portal. to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Not Thomas. I like the narrator's voice. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Inverted fall. Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Alright, cute. I like this tutorial. It worked! Well. Oops. I cut you off. Sorry, buddy. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Cute. I like this so far. Oh. Oh. That was close. I wonder what that little thing was that I picked up. Oh, what's that? Is that water? Check it out, Thomas. This okay. all seemed a little dangerous. I want to jump and get The back. world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh, it moves if I get too close to the edge. He was starting Oops. to suspect it might even... But I want the thing, right? This oops, all seems. Oops, 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 oops. That was my fault. Sorry. Cut off the narrator, too. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to Jumped be trusted. Too far. It was Press space to skip. Okay. I just want to get the little block over here. Oh, I'm really bad at. Really bad at platformers. This all seemed a little dangerous. I can. The world. Alright, we'll try one more time and then if I don't get it. I'm gonna give up on it. Have I mentioned that I'm bad at platformers? This all seemed Every... a little dangerous. Haha! -ha, got the it. World. Is this is it it must count. There's no way to get back from that, right? It. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was Unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let. All right. Oh, I'm down here. Okay. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. Well, so you can see in the bottom right of my screen, there's a little red. Uh, Square. I think you get different characters. 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 Later on. Not called characters. They're characters. Okay. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world Ooh. was becoming more complicated. The light. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed <coughs> just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. <coughs> Too obvious. I feel like I'm definitely being tested here. Thomas. What is that? Faster respawn points. Something about the boiling, points. toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. He made another mental note. Four. <laughs> water. Not good. To be avoided. Keep hearing words when I go through the portals. I'm not sure what that's about. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. 
no amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Oh, you'll probably hear my click and clack keyboard again. Since I'm not, have not plugged in the PlayStation controller yet. Ooh, the lighting is so good. Uh, yep. Ah! Mistakes were made. Wrong button first. Oh, goodness. What? I jumped! Thomas, I'm sorry. PlayStation is uh, PlayStation controller is looking pretty attractive. Do I wanna pause so I can set it up though? Gotta go into Steam big picture mode to set it up or it does weird things. Gotcha! was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Oh, come on. Okay, hang on one second. I'm going to pop speed into big picture mode and see if I can't continue using my controller because I'm afraid if I keep doing it anymore. So one second. Oh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. I had, had a new so theory. much trouble getting that. The okay. world was training him. All right, let's try it. He Where could feel control? himself getting yeah. smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. I don't know if I would say skill. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share it with. Can I get a friend? That'd be fun. This is actually quite annoyingly difficult. Alright. <laughs> Achievement unlock, be there or be square? I submitted a bunch of bug reports. I told that idiot this would happen. It's sold out. Overlapping scripts for the money I was bound to be small enough environment. At some point, turns out I missed the point and that little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. Probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, you're fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Chris, you're so short. Oh man, I gotta. Music volume. Oh. Can't turn that down. Music volume. Just a, like 70% would be great. Just rude. Hey Chris, I don't know how to do. Gotta turn this music down more. I don't know why it got so loud. It, let's try 40. Low volume. That's better. The noise Chris makes is very cute. It's like, bop, bop. Thomas sounds really boingy, like it's springy. Oh yeah, water. Okay, alright. Okay, this was more like it. 
a glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more huh? enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Oh. Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. I play leapfrog with him. Oops. What if I move you? Oh, I can move you. <gasps> I can move you together. All right, come on. Just, there we go. Oh, I can't jump with you. Oh, I can't jump. Oh. Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? Well ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Oh no, Chris. Oh no, Chris. Oh no. Christmas, like Portal Bridge Constructor, which I just recorded before this. I just couldn't resist playing some of them, and I was feeling a bit icky earlier, like, I think I've eaten too much rich food, and I've been on trying Chris not to eat too much before, Thomas so. with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. Aww. If only for a few levels. Um, so yeah, I, I think I've been eating far too much rich food lately. And so it kind of upset my stomach and I might have really bad stomach pain. But I'm feeling better now. So I uh, hope... Oh. I just need to stop eating such rich food. Right. Hopefully that'll then I won't feel so icky. Um, <clears throat> but I've also been quite busy actually on vacation so far. Yes, I jump better if I make ridiculous noises, don't you know? Um, you're very fast. This was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. I can't jump though. Oh, if I do this. <gasps> Didn't mean to review, sorry. Oh, I'm just doing review. There we go. Yeah, I know I've got so many things to play. But I'm this addicted. would not do. John Any needed games. room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Uh, Where did they come from, anyway? Well, 
like these characters. Ah! <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of game ADD lately as well, where I just want to play new games, especially because I have so many new ones from my boyfriend and neighbor friend. Like this one. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Aww, John. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> That's funny. I love that they have their own noises and their own personalities. Oh, this is much better than I thought it would be. I saw it on Steam a while ago, and um, just hadn't got it for ages. Um, and but um, I don't know if it was on my wish list, but it was always like something I knew in the like, back of my mind and wanted on the back. Want and kept on the back burner. Something to get. Um, so I'm glad I have a chance to finally play it. It's going to be very cute. Alright, everyone, come on. They all have different, like, jumping speeds and sounds. Yeah, it's very cute. Uh, oh. Come on, Thomas. I guess Thomas in the universe, why not? one in every level and I've missed it? Yeah. Not quite. Jump off of John. No, Thomas. I'm missing, messing up your names. Thomas. John was happy to keep helping. John. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Yeah, your name is John. I remember that, but I'm blinking on the little square guy's name. Why? Well, 
the leapfrogging that goes on in this game. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, yes. had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. <gasps> oh no, I'm the to... angry orange one was less immediately likable, <gasps> but his unremitting Failure. cynicism and tutting amused John. That's cute. I like how they do get along. Sort of. Why can't I remember the red one's name? No, the orange one. I can't even color correctly right now. I'm losing it. Gotta get them all up here. Oh, no. Yeah! Oh, can't talk. Alright, well. Let's start. Interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. So John's gonna come down here. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Oh, sorry, your name's not John. That's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, uh, to make his performance even more impressive. 
John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Achievement unlocked for the hero Thomas needs. The initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable as the error spread. These variations became increasingly extreme. Ooh, big guy. So, this was how Claire yeah, would lady. die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. Water bad, water bad, no. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Wait, <laughs> what? Oh. Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Excellent, Claire, right on. <clears throat> She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. Sorry, didn't mean to drop you. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. Okay, I think I know how to push you. Right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. That's Claire. She's over here. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Let's do it all at once. There we go. Oh, Thomas, are you actually... Is this physics-based? Thomas, you're sliding off. Okay, short one. Cute. They're the wrong characters for us. Alright. Awesome! Cute, cute, cute. You were rain. Hello. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle Aww, in as many restarts as it took. Preferably only one. <gasps> oh, no. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sidekick. <sighs> or was she? I just wanted that square. Claire arrived just in time. Great. It was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Perfect. Let the water rise. bothered to try and get that thing because I don't want to have to do this all over again. Again. Thomas, let's see just slightly more centered just so it's safety. Let's be super safety on this level. As the water began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Thomas would make a good sidekick. Yes, Thomas is the best sidekick. Was she more the Lone Avenger oh, type? Oh, 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 like oh, oh, The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic uh. water. Oh, Thomas almost slipped off the edge there. Oh, I almost had a heart attack. Whew. Okay. All right. I don't think this episode has been very long, but it is 
Uh, I'm getting, I'm starting to go crazy trying to keep track of who and what and jumping and and I think I'm gonna leave this on here because I'm also starving. So thank you very much for joining me and Thomas in Thomas Woods Alone. Ooh, can't talk. I uh, hope you all had great holidays and are having great holidays. And if you have any other games you'd like to see me play or hints or tips or tricks or anything like that, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Until then, bye!